Those are the uh, Spanish peaks right there. I'm going over here. That's where I'm sheep hunting. Yeah, here we go. The whole area is closed and the road and all that stuff. So I got to get up to that peak. And the only way to really do it now is to go back down past that peak down and below and around and we'll hike over all those peaks because the sheep so this dip their sheep are right in there i'm gonna do some glassing up there tomorrow too but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shoot south i'm gonna go set up camp over there and i'll probably glass over there for the morning get some camp set up i think i'm just gonna camp over there it's plan b here heading up the other road up down further south Hopefully I can make it to the top. We'll see how gnarly it gets. This isn't bad at all. It's going nice and slow, making sure not to hit any of the big rocks. <laughs> Let's go. Or I'm probably another 400 feet from the actual trailhead spot. 400 feet of vertical. Uh, probably only like, I don't know, another quarter mile. I'm just gonna hike it in the morning. No big deal. A little bit higher. And then I'm putting it next to this down tree. And none of these other trees should fall onto me. <laughs> it looks like everything's wanting to fall this way. So like it's wanting to fall that way. From what I've seen, like that tree back there is falling that way. The one old across the road right up there is falling that way. Everything's like falling. I'd prefer not to get crushed in the, my sleep. Well, here we are. Glorious camp, all set up. Heck, the pilot keeps it warm enough in here. It's 40 degrees out right now. So, yeah, super nice. Uh, got a little bit of a big hike tomorrow. I probably have to climb probably 2,000 vertical to get to the top. I'm going to go up there. And I'm just going to glass around. I don't know really what else to do do or dry but it's kind of a bummer that the main area it's going to be like impossible to get to i mean i can try it which i probably will well here's my view from camp i gotta hike up this road this is all private so you can't hunt it anyway but pretty awesome view i hike up and around and yeah so I think I have a couple <clears throat> advantages on the normal hunter here. Uh, I've been glassing up sheep all summer. So <laughs> I've literally been staring at sheep all day long, um, every day. So I'm used to spotting them up in this stuff and kind of got a good idea where they like to hang. So I'm glad I've got that advantage. <sighs> and also I've been hiking around everywhere. 12,000 feet, so it is a little bit harder to breathe up here, but not, not terrible. So, got the camcorder, tripod, everything else. The annoying tree that it's going to be really hard to get the ranger under. <laughs> Just have to try to cut it out later. But, better patter. Sheep hunting. Not yet anyway. <laughs> sheep looking. <laughs> There's some sheep poop. They're up here. I heard her beller. Look right over this ridge. They're in here. Not very many, but they're here. Well, sheep tracks. Looks like a lamb in tow. There you go, your sheep track. Gosh, I gotta find them sooner or later. They're all going that way. So I'm gonna head up this ridge up here and glass on the backside and see if I can't find them. They're in here right now though. It's amazing to think that there's coyotes all the way up on these peaks like this. <laughs> wow. Almost to the top. It's right there. So 
I, so I changed my route. Instead of going down and over, I'm just gonna go up through that rock crevice right there, right there, around, up through, back, and then get on the other side of that, get up really high so I can glass, and then glass back on that, and see if there's any sheep there. Well, I found this nice little, nice little sheep trail going across here now. That helps a lot. Hopefully I can find this easy again. This makes it a lot easier than scrambling through a lot of the shelly, gnarly stuff. Hopefully when I get on the back side of this, there's some sheep, or on the top, I mean, I gotta get up on the top. Cause the, the ridge is like private. It's really interesting how this all works. I'm gonna remember this now, there's sheep beds here. One here. closer. There's a lot of sheep in here. I think they're on our side of this ridge. Let's keep going. Made it through the chute. Made it through the chute. Almost to the top. Well, you can see there's one, two, three, four beds right here. And see this trail that they've got. So they're they're at these beds often. And there's fresh and there's fresh poop in that one bed. That one. So hopefully I top this hill and I see some sheep. Bear poop all the way up here. Huh. Who would have thought? Black bear would come up here. Wild. Huh. Cool. Well, jail can hear it. See that trail? I was staring at the sheep I might as well look at these spikes and there's a ton of elk out here um they're all over these ridges so it'd be worth it um wait sheep are down here oops well sheep there sheep bedded there ton of sheep over here. It's 44 total. 29 ewes. 15 lambs. And a whole big old herd of elk. A couple spikes that keep bugling. They're hilarious. Oh, there's a another cow down there. Oh no, that's a spike. Yeah. These two above them keep bugling, it's pretty funny. Oh no, those must be the spikes all the way down there then. Oops. Well, made it up almost to the top of this ridge now. But there's beds and everything all over. There's beds right here. It's awesome. Let's see if I can glass up some more sheep over on the other side of this. I mean, the sheep sign in here is unbelievable. It's just beds and there's so many sheep right here. This is the spot. This is where I'm going to get into probably killing one. Some nice stuff. It's going to be hard. <laughs> I don't quite know how I'm going to get a shot up, but I'm guessing I'm going to have to come through the bottom. Alright, away we go. Plenty of elk around here. The 
sheep are over there somewhere around the corner. I think this would be the this would be the spot. Set up on one side and somebody set up on the other and white them out. And see all their trails in here. These are all like sheep trails down here. There's tons of them. Look really good. Yeah, and all these ones over here. So they're using these trails quite a bit. Same with elk, but it's about the sheep. Her face is white, like eyeball white. Good ears. See that? That's crazy. She's not even close to as big as any of the other ones, but dang, she cool. That her face is completely white. hasn't seen a person before. How cool. I kid you not, this deer is following my tracks right now. <laughs> What are you doing? What a goofball. <laughs> that is awesome. That is freaking hilarious. There's a bear right down here, <laughs> too, and this freaking deer is just chilling. It's crazy.
I love underground springs. My favorite. <laughs> Little creek underground here. Pops out right here. Getting close to my truck. Still like a mile and a half away. So this is my 300 yard group. Um, it's kind of uh, messed up as you can see. I shot these two and then I canted my rifle on accident. Shot these two and then I made sure my rifle was level and I shot that one. I should have shot a second shot, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, that's what happens when you can't rifle. It's perfectly flat, <laughs> straight across and you're like moving it left or you're moving it right. So yeah, damn. Well, this is the stuff I never show you guys. And I feel like I should start including this because this is the reality on a lot of hunts. Uh, so, A, this thing's okay. It's not the best. I wish I would have got a different one. Um, but when I was shooting, I left my door open like an idiot. And it drained my battery just enough to where it won't crank over. So... My truck won't start. It's fantastic. Um, so I'm just waiting on that. Uh, but I'm going to leave my gun here. My plan is I'm going to drive back down the mountain. I'm going to go out. And the other mountain is way over there. I'm going to go glass up over there. And hopefully, hopefully I'm able to find some sheep. Now, if they're on the backside where they were yesterday, I'm not going to see them. But if they're on... This front side where I see all their beds and all that stuff. and I mean, there's so much sign up there. Then I can glass them up. I'll be able to see them from way down low. Hopefully, anyway. I'm not 100%. Um, it's like, I think it's like three miles up there. Like, as the crow flies. Like, if you're directly looking at the mountain from down low. But I don't know if you can even see the highway. I thought I could, but not 100%. So, we'll figure that out. And see what we end up finding. Hopefully my truck doesn't overheat. My coolant looks a little low now, which I don't understand. But glad I got a bunch more coolant. I have to honestly didn't record it because I didn't have much hope. <laughs> so, but got her running. Yeehaw! I kind of wish this was an elk hunt. It'd be a lot easier. There's elk everywhere. I've seen more elk in the last couple days than most places. There's a lot of elk out here. I found the I found the best glassing spot for this place. So I can glass and I can glass all this stuff. Thankfully. So I can see all these ridges and all these little valleys and not see a single sheep. So, dang it. Shucks. There's always tomorrow. The Iowa Calvary has arrived. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, you ready? Yeah, I am. How bad's the road? When you find a kitty. <laughs> and the sheep. Right? <laughs> what are the odds we come into town and the breakfast place has like a football fundraiser? It's so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Got pan pancakes for days. Yeah! Yep, see? That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> nice. Is there a word for that when that happens? I can't think of a word. Yeah. Not barber chair. Those paper wasps. Skyland. Those are sheep? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like sheep. That's a sheep on the top of the ridge. And then the elk are down to the bot left. And the rest of the sheep are there, too. That's them right there. Oop. Oh. Right in the center. So. Oh yeah. And then the elk are up to the right of them. But they're right. They're right there.
there's a legal bull, another legal bull. There's two of them. That was a really big spike. Dude, he was bedded right there. That was so cool. What's he, what's he doing? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. The wind is whipping. Two more hours till we start our long hike out in the wind. To chase some sheep. Okay, we go up the mountain. We're uh, like 220 or something. We're heading up. Hopefully, we'll get up to where the sheep were at uh, last night. Got to see them, glass them up last night. So, <laughs> it is pretty steep coming going up this stuff. And hiking too. But we got it. <laughs> See the shelly rock we're going down. It's a medium sized boulder, so it's like really, really hard to walk on. <laughs> right, Landon? Yep. Super tough. So uh, Leo and Harley, they're behind us. Um, they're going to take a little extra time. But they're gonna go on to one of the ri other ridges there. So here we are. We're kind of socked in. Making breakfast. Landon is anyway, because I was a dumbass, forgot mine. So, but awesome times. Oh, what a morning! <laughs> Too, much Too much fog and Josh losing stuff. Lost my furies. So you find. A pair of Furies in the old Alps outdoors. Bivy. Probably mine. <laughs> so we found three U's. But I don't think any of them's my white faced, so foggy, everything keeps fogging in up here. Gun out just in case. They're 500. But yeah, dang it. All right, so we glassed up three U's. Um, now we're there. The one's a shooter. Um, so we're gonna hike up, go over this ridge, and hopefully find my once in a million sheep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope so. Anyway, you having fun, Landon? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Watch these guys for a few hours, see if we see more. Let's go up in the fall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the front one's nice. She's small. Doesn't she anymore? That'd be the front one. Oh, right there. on my story. <laughs> this is sick. My legs are not safe. <laughs> yep. What Thank <laughs> you. 
lost, really. Where's she at? Is she dead? She's laying down. Okay. You ready? Fucking go, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, she's dead. She rolled down. Yeah. Gosh! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, you got your sheep. More for the slam, baby. I killed a sheep! Yes, sir. -y. More clouds coming in. Look at those clouds, dude. That was the worst thing about today. It was clouds, clouds, clouds. Couldn't see anything. Well, we got a sheep. Got done. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Landon. Fuck yeah. I'm so sick. I'm so happy that Landon, Leo, and Harley were able to come out and help. So yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. That's awesome. She's super old, has no bottom teeth left. Big horn on her. We got a little bit of a pack out. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be, be a away. pain. It's yeah. gonna be a pain. Yeah. But we spotted her earlier, a little bit earlier this morning on a ridge and I was like, we couldn't find any sheep on the rest of the public. So I was just like, well, jeez, I might, well, yeah. might as well. <laughs> Plus Landon can only help me one more day. So yep. needed to uh, get out of, get out of here. So. Got it done. Opening day is yeah. awesome. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Let's get oh, our yeah. cut up and packed out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Savage 28 nozzle did the work. Slowly making it down. It's really hard with a pack full. way up there now we're down here we still gotta go a ways down we're making it though and that is where i got my sheep I'm beat still got two more miles three more miles of hiking Whew. let me tell you this pack out's not easy at all i'm burnt Yes, sir. Time for a nap. Just kidding. I got to keep going. I only have a mile left. Oh, I'm so close. Oh. Some ending thoughts on this hunt. It's, uh, it's a little weird walking away from a mountain that you e-scouted for six months and then spent you know, a week living on and scouting for sheep. So yeah, it's definitely give respect to these mountains. That's for sure. It's uh, not quite like crazy backcountry, but just because one of the roads is closed makes it very difficult to get into here. So hiking back to camp now, found my binos. I'm stoked, it was a good trip. Well, sheep camp is all packed up. Woohoo!